This is a quick tutorial um, for testing Japanese input on Android uh, Jelly Bean. So, in order to add Japanese input um, or voice input, uh, let's go to settings and then you need to go to language and input. And um, here you have Google Voice Typing. So, I'm going to press on the setting uh, button, then go to choose input language. By default, it is set to automatic, so you have to uncheck that box, and then you can check US English or whatever language you speak. But to add Japanese, you have to go all the way down. And here you see Nihongo, so you just check the box next to it. Um, so let's go ahead and test it out. So I created uh, an empty uh, document using Google Docs, so um, let me try to go to that document and I'm gonna try to show the keyboard and press and hold on the space bar and I'm gonna select Google Voice Input Nihongo ga wakarimasu ka? and here you see it recognized um, my input so let's try to say something else. Ten. So ten basically adds um, the dot at the end of the sentence, which means um, period uh, in English. Oh, thank you. Ah, Ten. 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 And this is a sentence, a famous one from Gundam Seed. Oreniwa Mamoritai Sekai Ga Arunda. I have a world to protect. And let's keep going. Anone Ashtano Ban Watashto Ishoni Nanika Tabemasenka Ten Ketai no Bango wa Nandeska. Tokyo wa Tokyo wa kirei na machi desu. Osaka wa oki desu. So pretty much it recognized everything. Um it it really works um even for a non-native speaker, which is pretty amazing. So let's try some katakana words. Italia, France, Baghdad, America, Jin, Hamburger, Mos Burger, Final Fantasy. So. Um, it works really well. It's, it's super cool. Android wa sugoi desu ne. So there you go. Um, it's really amazing. Um, I hope you um, enjoy this. So um, I'm pretty sure some of you might find it useful. And if you like it, just drop me a comment. Thanks for watching.